Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to this webinar organized in partnership with LIDEM Creative Art School uh, in Barcelona. My name is Lucia from DocCity. I will be the presenter this evening. And welcome to this webinar, Let the World Discover Your Talent with a Degree in Digital Design from LIDEM Barcelona. We'll have uh, quite a panel tonight from LIDEM who will tell you everything about studying um, digital design in this wonderful city of Barcelona and uh, all the career opportunities you can have with the, um, with this fantastic career. So uh, if you bear with us for a couple of minutes, we are waiting, uh, we are expecting so many people to join us from so many different countries. So in the meantime, you will find right here below in the Zoom menu, the chat box where you can start saying hello. You can start uh, telling us where you're connecting from. We would love to know where you're uh, watching us from, where you're listening to us from. And also you will find right here below in the Zoom menu, the Q&A box. Uh, there you can start, all, even if you have them right now, uh, start leaving your questions. So we'll be more than glad to answer them all by the end of the presentation. Hi here from England and Greece. Hi, hello. Thank you very much for being here with us tonight. So um, bear with us for a couple of minutes until we uh, have a little bit of more people joining. Um, as I said before, my name is Lucia from Doc City. I will be the webinar presenter tonight. And welcome to this uh, free webinar organized in partnership with LIDEM Barcelona. Let the world discover your talent with a degree in digital design from LIDEM Barcelona. So we will have uh, this presentation uh, with some representatives from uh, the LIDEM staff. And uh, then at the end, I will be more than glad to answer to all of your questions about admissions, about the programs, about uh, life in Barcelona uh, at the end on the Q&A uh, session. Soil from Pakistan, hello. Ali from Lebanon, hi. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you very much for being here with us. So um, as I was saying, bear with us for a couple of minutes. We, um, we know that we will receive so many people from so many different countries. So it might take a couple of minutes for everyone to uh, jump in and join us tonight. My name is Lucia. I will be uh, the presenter on behalf of DocCity uh, for this webinar, Let the World Discover Your Talent with a Degree in Digital Design from Lude Barcelona. And our panel will be um, the staff from Liden who will be more than glad to illustrate you, uh, to show you and to answer all of your questions about this fantastic program. We can see uh, right here, right now, we have Aguido Del Solar, who is a creativity and design professor uh, from this degree. And we also have Encarna Serratacón, who is a brand ambassador for Liden Barcelona. Thank you very much, Encarna, for being here with us tonight. We might have also uh, an alumni joining us later today that will tell you everything about being um, being a student of digital design at yeah. University. So uh, without further ado, I will leave the floor uh, to our speakers tonight. So I don't know, maybe Widow would like to start if that's, uh, if that's the case. I leave you the floor. Okay. Hello. Hello. Ah, I, I no, no, I'm here, I'm here, <laughs> yes. Ah, I'm sorry, sorry. I, I, I have been, okay. yes, like, I'm here now. I had some technical problems, but finally I, I get to connect, so I'm here. So, uh, well, uh, thank you very much for, be, for being here. Uh, my name is Encarna, I am the brand ambassador of LIDEM uh, Barcelona. So today we'll talk about international... Okay. I think it kind of froze uh, a little bit. <laughs> Technical issues. Uh, this is the beauty of being live. We have this uh, this little technical difficulties, but we will resolve them right away. Uh, so um, as she was saying, she's in Carna Saratago. She's the brand ambassador for Lynn in Barcelona. She's one of the... Um, of the representative of Liden Barcelona staff who is in the panel tonight, uh, together with uh, Guido del Solar, Guido who is um, and the creativity and design professor uh, for the digital design career at Liden Barcelona. So, Guido, um, I don't know if you'd like to uh, take over while uh, while Encarna tries to resolve the technical difficulties at the moment. Yes, so I'm sharing a little presentation I prepared for you people. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, we can see it perfectly. Thank you. All right, so let's go. 
<clears throat> so I'm going to tell you a little bit about our school. So this school is originally from France and has more than 25 years training the best professionals around Europe. And we have two campus, a campus in Perpignan, in France, and the campus in Barcelona. We are just one school, but they're in different countries, <clears throat> okay? The Liden Barcelona School is located, as you see on the map, a few blocks from the Mediterranean in one of the most vibrant and amazing cities in the world. I came to this city to, for six months and I stayed for 13 years because this city trapped me. And as a designer, as a senior designer, this city is so amazing to study and to live and to work. So uh, I, I just wanted to transmit to you that living and studying in this city is amazing, okay? And um, our school is located in, a, in an area called the, the Poleno Urban District. It's a really cool area full of trendy, you know, shops, stores, very close to the ocean. 10 minutes walking to the city center, to the Gothic Quarter. It's a well connected by metro, by bus, by just public transport, or by bike. As you as you know, this city is quite is very flat. So from the city center to the school is five minutes riding a bike. Okay. And uh, you were wonder wondering what makes us different, right? So um, I selected eight different uh, topics that made us different as a design school. So we have a solid artistic and technical training. We have an international and multicultural teaching concept. There's no more than two teachers from the same country and uh, there's no more to students from the same country. So it's a really international and multicultural experience. The whole thing, from the class, to the teachers, to the city. It's a multicultural city, it's a multi multicultural teacher environment, and it's a multicultural studying environment. <clears throat> uh, we have a wide network of more, more than 1,000 companies around the world. We have many students doing their internships around Europe, around the world, and we are well connected with many different kind of companies around the planet. Also, if you graduate from the school, we have connections so you can go there and, and find the job of your dreams in the place you want to live. We have an individual follow up with each student. The classes are not big, are from 10 to 15 students. So we work more as a design studio than these big classrooms when the teacher is talking three hours and, and you cannot talk to him. So we are constantly talking, sharing ideas, discussing, arguing sometimes. So we are a team. We are not teacher and students. We are a team who does projects. We are well recognized. French and European dual degree. So you're going to get two degrees. It's a dub double degree. It's a French one and European one. We have language classes to facilitate communication and exchange. You, you will have Spanish lessons, uh, English lessons if you're not native English, and you will have uh, French lessons. Okay, so uh, it, it's really cool because you're learning the profession and at the same time you're learning in a different language. Because if, if you study design and then you study the languages, you're going to learn the language, but not the technical words. So our students, after they graduate, they're more than prepared to work anywhere they want around the world. Or you have online meetings with people in China, with people in, around in South America, so that's really cool. And this is how the world works right now. We have master classes, workshops, and conferences with experts. And all the teaching staff are active professionals. So I have my own design studio. 
uh, the rest of the teachers, they have their own design studio or they're active. We are not just teachers. We are teachers because we love to be teachers and to transmit our experience to young people. But we are all active, which means that as soon as we finish the class, we have to run to the front line <laughs> to keep doing all our work, right? So I'm going to explain a little bit our methodology. So our methodology is based on four columns. Column number one, oops, sorry, I cannot see it because this window is blocking. Okay, it's about graphic design. So we call the, the, the profession international digital designer, but we are not graphic designers. Graphic design is just one of the main things of these four main things. Okay, so graphic design is everything you know, like for example, magazines, flyers, posters, etc. Everything related with graphic resources, composition, text, images, etc. In the other hand, we have motion. So you're going to learn motion graphics, you're going to learn how to produce video, how to develop motion graphics to After Effects. We are going to learn how to mix After Effects with 3D software and and with video production. So that's everything is related to motion, okay? In the other hand, we have digital. So digital mostly is about UX, UI, for the ones who don't know what it is, is user experience and user interface. So basically it's all related, all about web design, app design. So everything we're doing right now on this application, Zoom, this developer, and some UX designer and UI designer has had to be there to develop this software, right? And we have advertising. So advertising is most mostly about you know studying how the mind works, how to manage the consumers and the target audiences through concepts, right? If you mix all these four tools together and you repeat them on during the three years and every year is getting more intense and more difficult. You are a 360 degrees designer. And this is exactly what company needs right now. They don't need a graphic designer. They don't need a motion designer. They don't need a UX UI designer. They need someone who can manage a little bit of everything. And then in the future, if you want to focus on something specific and you discover during the process that you love something, Okay, so then you can dedicate and improve on that area. But you're going to finish the school as a 360 degree designer. Um, I'm trying to change the slide, but it's not working. Um, give me a second, technical problems. <laughs> okay, I'm going to open it again. Okay. Um, okay. Can, can you hear me, right? Yes, we can yes. hear you. Okay, so every day in the school is a whole experience because we are trying classic techniques, old school techniques, new techniques, new technologies. We are doing, you know, workshops. We are presenting our projects to real cases. We are mixing our projects with a, 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 different, a different school coming to our school to do a project together. It's really, really dynamic. So you will never get bored to be studying in this school. I never get bored in the 13 years I've been teaching here and probably you will not be get bored. You know, it's super dynamic. So what, what do we do? Because uh, I can tell you, uh, how we manage the methodology, but would you want to see results? So I'm going to um, resume a few areas, um, the main areas about the, the, the school, okay? So from one side, we have the graphic design. So about graphic design, we, we try to experiment with trend, new trends to break some rules, to go forward, to discover new techniques and apply this graphic design to everything. We do a lot of branding. Uh, we, we teach you how to develop a brand from a, from a scratch 
to develop a nice piece of branding and apply that brand everywhere. We also develop packaging. We experiment with materials, technica, techni techniques, production techniques, how to generate prototypes, 3D prototypes, digital prototypes, real prototypes, mixing graphic design with these uh, prototypes and develop what we call packaging, right? So everything you will see on the supermarket or any store needs packaging, they need a designer. We experiment a lot with photography too. Photography about advertising photography, conceptual photography, artistic photography, studio photography, outdoor photography, uh, photography production, or uh, any kind of photography. We try to experiment and um, mixing also photography with graphic design and mixing different tools. About motion, the same. Motion is not only about motion graphics, you know, elements that are constantly moving. It's not, all, uh, it's not uh, everything about video. It's about everything. Everything what is moving on the screen, we call motion. Uh, we will teach you everything, how to develop a motion graphics for a mobile phone, for a, I don't know, for a TV series introduction, or how to produce a video, how to mix these motion graphics with the video, how to produce a video shooting in the studio and mix it with a 3D motion graphics. And also how to apply everything, motion graphics, graphic design and, and uh, everything I explained before on advertising pieces, okay? Well, it's kind of obvious, but all the projects you are seeing are projects for our students. And UX, UI, user experience, user interface. So developing apps, developing webs, developing uh, social media campaigns, developing uh, social media campaigns, including um, web design or including app design from the structure of an app to generate a real app prototype. So this is uh, the present and this is the future, as you know, because probably most of you are using right now <laughs> your phone and you're using this app to connect, right? And we touch a little bit of 3D and we are not we are not focusing only in flat two two dimensional things. We are only we, we also develop three D things from products to structures and to elements. And of course, not everything right now is on the screen. So we teach you how to make things real. All right. So how to produce, for example, um, I don't know if you are developing. The, this structure we did two years ago about Harley, this uh, container, uh, recycling container for a structure, what kind of materials, where they produce these materials, uh, how much it costs, okay? So everything, it's not just generating something nice and that's it, it's about everything. And also we do projects out of the school. We are not the whole year trapped in these four walls. So um, we did long, uh, a few years ago, a real case product, a real case project. So I bring a real case to my students and that real case was an iconic place and it's beautiful in the Mediterranean coast called Cap de Creus, it's in Cadaqués. Uh, I don't know if you know it, but it's the place where Dali lived his whole life. And we went there to this restaurant and they needed new charts, a promotional video, a image bank for their social media and uh, some, some brand assets. And we stayed there for three days doing a research around the area. The area uh, uh, it is beautiful. And at this restaurant, we were tasting the best Mediterranean food for free <laughs> because the owner of the restaurant was with us during the process. And we finished the project in the school and was a big success. He was super happy. Uh, we had an amazing experience, personal experience and professional experience during these three days of research on this place. Uh, two years ago, we went to Tenerife 
it was another real case outdoor project. In this case, it was an hotel who wanted a new brand, who wanted photography for their restaurant dishes, who wanted video, social media, website, everything. Okay, so we went there. It was during the COVID, as you see, because we were using the mask. So we stayed there for five days in this hotel. It's a beautiful place in this iconic island, Tenerife. And uh, we did a big research and we produced everything from, for this company. Image bank for the dishes, social media content, the website, the logo, motion graphics, merchandising, packaging. The client was so happy that when we presented the project, he cried. <laughs> he was super happy. That not happening very often. But it was an amazing experience for the teachers, for the students, and for the real case, for the owner of this hotel. And this is pretty much what I can tell you. Uh, the rest, I invite you to contact Encarna if you want to know more about the school and, of course, to visit us. It's a good excuse to come during the summer to visit the school and to visit Barcelona. I repeat, one of the most amazing cities in the world. So uh, I, I don't know if Encarna now is fixing yes. your son. Okay. So, I think so. I think so. I hope so, that it's working. Okay. So I'm uh, having... Yes. Okay. I, I will leave you. Technical problems. Yes. I will leave you people with. Uh, ah, by the way, we had a testimonial with our with one of our students, but unfortunately he had to work, and so he cancelled last minute, so he cannot tell to you his experience. So that's such, such a pity, but it's what it is. And so I invite you to uh, to any question you have. Um, just uh, send it to the chat. Uh, me or Encarna, I'm going to answer all your questions. Okay? Thank you very much, Guido. Uh, yeah. I'm putting right yeah, now well. on the chat uh, Encarna's uh, contact information for everyone. Maybe uh, it's easier for you to copy it directly from the chat. I'm also writing uh, the website that you're sharing on the screen right now, uh, leadinbarcelona.com now so that you can go directly there and uh, find the information for for the application please go ahead yeah i don't know if uh, you can hear me now yeah yes, I think it's hear you right. yes. okay thank you thank you very much finally i think the wife is working really sorry about it because we have been uh, with technical problems during all <laughs> all the hour but finally i i i got the connections so well uh, thank you very much Guido thank you very much for all the explanation and while I'm working in the department so I'm also the admissions manager so I just want to tell you about all about the enrollment process so as you can see uh, you can do it through our website so now the enrollment process is open until the end of uh, June so if you're thinking about joining us for the next course you have just to fill in the registration form that you're going to find on our website. And uh, you have just to uh, send us your um, your photocopy of the, the, the diploma of the high school, IB or French back. Yeah. And also you have to send us a creative portfolio. Hmm? Your creative portfolio is going to be free. We want to know if you are good, for example, at uh, photography or design <coughs> or uh, drawing whatever you can show us just to know that you are a, a creative uh, person. Yeah. And, uh, and that's all you have just to send us all this information that you can do it through our website. And once we receive all the documentation, we are going to contact you just to have the final interview with our coordinator, with uh, Pablo. So this is all the process. Hmm? Um, if you have more questions, for example, our internships, we have, uh, a special discounts for international students. And also now we have a challenge you can find it in our website. It is uh, it is called Lidem Talents. So we are looking for talents. And uh, we have a challenge about, um, about the climate. So the climate emergency. 
So you want to participate to win, to win this special discount of 25%. You have just to send us a design. It could be an illustration, photography, uh, collage, or different mix of techniques. And about um, the principal subject is the climate emergency. And you will have the opportunity to win this special discount. Uh, you have uh, time until the 30th of uh, May. This is our deadline. So uh, you have all, all the information on our website. But uh, you have any question about it? We are here now, so just uh, let us know. Yeah, so you have to send us your creative portfolio together with this special project. And that's all, you can participate from now until the end of the 30th of May. Okay, thank you very much, Encarna, uh, for the information about the, the application. It is also, uh, is always very interesting and important to have this information, especially when we are talking about uh, international students. We have already some questions. Um, I wanted to tell to our participants that you can still uh, keep on placing your questions and we will answer them until the end of the presentation. I wanted to start in Karma asking you, how long in advance would you advise an international student to start uh, their application process? Well, my recommendation, especially if you are living in Europe, it's not a problem. But if you are living, for example, in Latam or in either, any other country outside uh, Europe, you need a visa. So this is so important to start with minimum three months before. Yeah, three months, I think, is the minimum. Because once we have all the documentation, so you have to, um, uh, we will contact you to have the final interview. And then you have to pay the 500 euros just to your place. And then we are going to send. So with this uh, confirmation letter, you can go to your embassy just to ask for the visa to come to Spain to study. And depending on the country, but uh, it takes minimum three months. So this is my recommendation. If you are European citizen, it's not a problem. But if you are living abroad in Europe, I think it's important minimum three months in advance. So our course is going to start in uh, in October, but uh, you have to think that the end the end of the uh, of the enrollment process is going to be at the end of uh, well we uh, we can maybe until the the end of July. Mm -hmm. So my recommendation is just to start just now, <laughs> as soon as this, possible. This is the time to to start. Uh... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, remember that we have placed uh, Encarna's contact information on the chat, so if you would like to review your personal situation, your um, your certificates, your visa situation, etc., maybe you can write directly to Encarna to set uh, a personal appointment. Is that right, Encarna? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. To review your personal situation and to make sure which is the best way for you to start your application to study. At Leiden Barcelona, I would like to also to ask you, Encarna, how is the um, the, the the selection, the admission process? Let's say, can can a student do it uh, from remote? Is it uh, possible to do it yes. entirely online? Yes, of course, yes, of course, because uh, well, we could say that the uh, ninety five percent of our students, they are international students, they come from abroad, Spain, abroad, Barcelona, so. Uh, we are doing all the uh, all the process uh, online. So the final interview is going to be with Pablo, but of course it's going to be online. It's no problem. Once we have all the documentation, we will contact you. If you are in Barcelona, you have an excuse as uh, we as Guido told us to visit Barcelona to visit our campus. But I understand it is difficult, so no problem. We will have our last interview online. Thank you, Encarna. I would like to uh, I would like to ask uh, Guido. Uh, you will tell us at the beginning of your presentation that you're not from Barcelona, that you arrived there uh, just for a while and then you stayed, uh, I, I wouldn't say forever, but uh, until the present for sure. So um, I'd like to ask you, what do you think are the, the main challenges uh, for a person who comes from abroad and arrives to, to Barcelona? The, okay, the most difficult part is do the first step. It's the only difficult part. The rest is living the life and enjoying the journey. So for, for me, it was really difficult to take the decision because I'm Chilean. I am 11,000 kilometers away from Barcelona. And I was thinking years and years like, okay, next year I'm going to visit Europe. I never did it. 
and I finally I did it. Um, since I've been here, I've been working in uh, South Africa, in Miami, in Indonesia, and I based here. I have my design studio here. So I'm 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 doing uh, thinking about uh, the whole process. The most difficult part was putting the the my my feet on the plane. <laughs> The rest is not difficult. Is is living the life. Is taking an adventure, and uh, if, if you want to study design, it's because you are curious. And you are curious. Take advantage that you are young now, because now is the moment. Now is the time. It's it's not difficult. I mean, in this city, it can be difficult because in one week you will have so many friends, so many places to go out. You have the beach. You have three hundred of sunny days a year. So that's not difficult. It's difficult to take the first step. The rest is, uh, is, is not difficult at all. I don't know if I answered the question. <laughs> I, think, I think you did. Uh, so the rest just the, after you take the plane, the rest is, is down. Yes, is yes. So, well, I, I mean, it was difficult because I really am a hard worker and I've been working so hard, but it's because I love my profession. So I, this, uh, I, I am a hard worker. So uh, if you want to success, of course, and make your, the, your life easier, you need to be a hard worker and love what you do. Because if you're not good in this profession, you know what happened here or in your own, in your hometown or any place in the world is the, is the whole the same thing. You have to be good and you have to love what you do. It's yes, a it's a, it's a diff, uh, competitive market, right? There are so many people who is interested in this field, and to outstand is uh, important to have a, a good education, such as the course that we are presenting here tonight of uh, digital design from Lisbon, Barcelona, and also to apply yourself and be a hard worker. Exactly, we we don't train students to be designers. We train young people to be the best. Yeah, yeah there's a difference there. Oh yeah. There's absolutely <laughs> a difference. So um, it's also uh, digital design is also a good opportunity for whoever would like to work uh, as a freelance or as a digital nomad, right? Yes, actually, for example, um, if you want to be a digital nomad, you need to speak fluent English because in every country I've been working, we speak English, okay? But, what I can say is you can't uh, graduate and be a freelancer. You need the experience of a company because not everything is about design and making cool things on the computer. It's also about how to manage budgets, how to manage your money, how to manage other people's money, how to deal with a client, how to, it's, it's about many things you have to learn in a company. And I, I recommend to all my students to work at least five years in a company because probably you're going to learn a lot of design in the company, but also you're going to learn from your boss, from the accountant's manager, from the product manager, you're going to learn how to manage things, meetings. So um, yes, it's perfect. I, 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 I was a freelancer for a long, long, long time, but I worked in a company for like six, seven years in different companies. But I, but I thank to these companies to teach me, to taught me. They taught me everything I know about how to manage a company. Okay, I don't know if I answered the <laughs> question. Yes, yes, I, I guess uh, I guess you did. So on that note, um, how important are the, um, the soft skills for a digital designer? And uh, do you is, is that part of the program also of the curriculum at Lidem Barcelona? So you mean the software? The soft skills, like the interpersonal skills. The personal not skills. Only, yes, not you know, not only the hard skills uh, intended as um, technical knowledge, but also okay. to be able to work in a yeah. team, to be able to communicate, to delegate, etc. Okay, so honestly, in, you know, I, I've been working twenty years in the industry of design, and honestly, what really Keep you in the right place and open new windows for you. Not it's not only about the hard skills. It's also about you as a person. Because I tell you something, nobody wants on their team an amazing designer, but too quiet, too boring, 
to not participating in things, not laughing, not going to, not doing things with the team. So you're going to spend minimum eight hours a day in a place. So you have to enjoy it. And uh, it's, it's the soft skills, like, like uh, all the things that probably you think they're not like uh, really valuable, they are. And I can tell you that they really, really are. So it's not only about studying the softwares, the skills, and as you said, how to delegate, how to manage money. It's also about something you'll be learning your whole life, but you don't know by now. You will know when you start working in a company and you will see your, your, your uh, office mates, and then you will understand what I'm trying to say right now. Really important. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the, and, and also it can make a difference in, uh, for example, in next election process, you can have uh, two different candidates who can uh, manage perfectly uh, design software, let's say. But if you have to choose, you may be, be inclined to choose the one that is a better teamwork, for example, right? That can make a difference uh, at the time when, you have, when you're about to get a job, for example. Um, you know, it, 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 it's... I've, I've been, I received a lot of curriculums and I had a lot of interviews, but honestly, I stay with the person who I identified is a, a person I like, a person have, they want to do things and uh, is excited about how to do things and uh, curious and, um, uh, you know, into the, the, the profession and open to learn. And, funny person, something I will enjoy working and, and explaining how to do things and enjoying my daily journey. Uh, in the other hand, if I receive someone, an amazing designer with the skills, I've been working with a lot of people, really uh, amazing designers, but honestly, I didn't enjoy a minute with these people. So I will never work again with these people because it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not cool. So that, that's why it's better, in my case, if I hire someone, it's because it's a smiley person, it's a cool person, it's a good person, educated, polite, uh, and with a lot of, uh, you know, want to learn and improve. I don't know if it makes sense. <laughs> yes, it does. Plus, uh, as you were saying before, this is something, um, I mean, a person that you will spend like eight hours working with, uh, hopefully. Uh, no more than eight hours, and of course you have to choose a person who is is kind to be around, right? And, and it's a good uh, coworker. And obviously, uh, digital designer works uh, mainly in teams of other creatives of uh, our other roles. So it is important that you're able to adapt, to listen to the other, and to to, to communicate. You have a, an efficient workflow, right? Exactly. Education we provide is three years. Education you're being receiving has been 16 or 18 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a fact. Yes, it's a fact. That's right. So I remind our participants that if you would like, uh, if you have any questions popping up, you can always leave them on the Q&A box that you will find right here below in the Zoom menu. So in the meantime, um, oh, okay, I, I guess Encarna had a, I, I just had a, a question for her, but we will ask her uh, later when she will be able to join. She, she was having some difficulties with her with her connection, but also remember that if you would like to review your personal situation, uh, if you're curious about if you have a valid degree, uh, if your documents are okay, or how to get a visa, you can uh, send an email to Encarna. I put before uh, her contact information on the chat box, but I will put them again so that you uh, can all have it handy so um i was wondering with uh when you when you receive the new students at Lidl, what are their their main fears or their main questions with starting uh, to study digital design now honestly speaking i i have fear too when i when i my first when i having my first class of the year because fear is something natural so uh, but uh, after one day, everything more or less is uh, set up. Uh, everyone is really shy, and uh, but after one week, 
the, I can perceive that uh, we are a team, but it's normal that uh, th this year we have each, each student is from a different country, from Macedonia, from Gambia, from United States, from Austria, from Ecuador. So of course you mix all these different countries in one classroom and everyone is really shy and they're afraid of, oh no, this, it, learning English is going to be difficult, but we are really experienced teachers and we know exactly how, 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 is, how it feels to be young with all the fears you have, all, all the comments that you're receiving from people, what are you going to do with your life? Are you sure you want to study this? Why Barcelona is really expensive? It's only three years, why you didn't do a master? We know everything you have to deal with right now. So uh, the, the, all these fears disappear in a week, honestly. Um, so just a week and everything, everything goes away. Yep, uh, honestly, uh, this is how it is. So th the fears are different because then you have deadlines to manage the projects we are, we are giving you. <laughs> so, uh, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not only teaching the profession, it's also, it's like coaching because uh, when you're young, you're, you're full of energy and you don't know what to do with that energy or don't know what to, where to focus and you have a lot of information, you're saturated about information. So in the point you're going to graduate, you're thinking, okay, what now? <laughs> Where and what? So we guide you during these three years. We do a little bit of coaching about how to manage everything. We talk about money. We talk about the difference between being a freelancer and working in a company, a difference between working in Europe, in South America, in Africa, in the United States. So that pieces of information are really valuable for, for the students because it are the kind of things that nobody teach you in the school, in the high school, or even some, you know, uh, colleges, people don't talk about what's next. Okay, so we, 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 we do a lot of daily coaching to everyone to, uh, to, to, you know, to make you um, be focused and, on, on what you want to do. And this profession is, uh, is a big journey. I never stop learning in these 20 years if you ask me what i want to do in the next five years i have no idea because if i'm a designer and if you want to be a designer it's because you are curious you don't need to be an expert on something because for example i like everything i cannot be doing magazines for more than one year i get bored i need to do more things so that's why this profession is so cool if you know how to do different things and you're a 360 degrees designer you can do whatever you want in the place you want in, in the country you want and if you get bored all right you change the area on under the same profession yes that's right so about uh what you were saying that people asking uh wondering if uh, barcelona is an expensive city and everything we have a question from one of our participants asking which is more like the cost of living in barcelona Okay, Barcelona is a very curious city because you can spend your whole salary in one night or you can spend uh, nothing in the whole week because uh, it depends on the lifestyle you want to generate, right? So, uh, for example, getting a, a room, a decent room for studying is from 300 euros to 600 euros in good areas. Okay, you have areas far away of the school for 250 euros, but I don't recommend these areas. And uh, this city is really small, so you can do everything by walking, by bike, public transport is not expensive, and you can enjoy the beach, which is free. You can enjoy the parks, expositions, activities, concerts, free, everything is free, but you can also spend all your money in one day. Depends on the lifestyle you want to create. In my case, I don't spend money here because this, when I'm saying, okay, I, I want to go to a concert, you check the website of Barcelona, you have like five concerts every weekend for free. So many activities you can do without spending money. And food is really cheap. Uh, activities, activities are more than affordable. It's not an expensive city. It's expensive. If, if you spend a lot of money, <laughs> honestly, it's not expensive. 
Of course, it's expensive if you want it to, to be expensive, but uh, exactly. if you prefer, you can live uh, cheaply, let's say, money-wise, and, and have a, an enjoyable time and very cultural life. So um, about that, um, there, is a, um, there is a situation in many European cities where it's getting harder for international students to find accommodation. How is the situation in that sense in Barcelona? It's not so difficult because as uh, Barcelona is really cosmopolitan, right now it's well prepared for foreign students. So you have like, I can't remember how many, but they have these buildings made for foreign students. So you have your own room, your bathroom in a student's community for different price, range, uh, price ranges. But uh, you, on one side, you have all these big buildings prepared for students. And also you, we have, uh, connection with uh, student residences and also we have um, you know if you want to find a room it's not difficult it uh, will take you I don't know a week if you check one two three rooms you can choose the one you think is the best but it's, it's not difficult it's difficult for example if you want to rent a flat because to rent a flat you need a deposit you need to show that you are under a contract and you need a certain amount of money in your bank account and probably you may need a yeah, deposit of two months and to pay the agency fee so basically if you want to rent a whole flat for you is five thousand euros from your pocket in one day you want to rent a room probably they're going to ask you for a deposit of one month or two months and you will have a decent room for, let's say, 300, 400 euros. Okay. Do you think it's better to wait to arrive uh, to the city and look at the places uh, for yourself? Or is it, uh, is it also okay to rent a place also? From I suggest to find online all the rooms you think are interesting. Mm -hmm. And then it's the perfect excuse to visit the city during the summer. Mm -hmm. So you spend, you enjoy the city. You discover the city and also you uh, can visit all the places you've been watching online um, but it's better to watch with your own eyes the place where you are going to sleep or you're going to live yeah, of course of course um and then another question we have here is it possible to work and study in barcelona oh yes our classes are from 8 30 in the morning until 2 30 in the afternoon the school is open until 8 p.m., but the classes stop every day of the week at 2.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, directors made that decision because many students, they had to work during the afternoon or during the night. So from 2.30 in the afternoon, you're free to do whatever you want. If you have to work, yes, you can work. It's not, 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 a, not an issue. Not an issue. Okay, it's not uh, that uh, time consuming, so it allows so may maybe the international students or someone who already has a already has a side hustle or a freelancer job to to keep on doing that. So, um, are there any online programs, any programs that our um, prospective students could do from remote, or do they all require? Well, that, that you mean you mean if we have like online courses. Mm -hmm. Well, that's complicated. Um, we were managing that uh, option during the COVID. But uh, if I am not wrong, we decided to making it, uh, you know, uh, you know, physically present on the school, not online. I see. I see. So we have a couple of questions about the same argument, uh, about the same topic, sorry. Is it easy to find the job in Barcelona as an international student? Um, well, of course, it depends on many factors. I mean, uh, for example, in this city, there are so many restaurants and so many bars and so many, you know, uh, life that, for example, a, 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 um, a restaurant, they, if you want to be, for example, a, a like a, a job like a bartender or something to get some money to to pay your studies they need like three or four shifts because they never stop from like 9 a.m in the morning until 1 a.m in the in the night so uh th this city is always open 
always uh, alive. So they need people to, to do these jobs. In the other hand, to find a job like, for example, let's say, I don't know, like, a, I, I, I'm guessing it's a student job, like a, something part time during the afternoon. It's, uh, it, there is a lot of people, a lot of people in this city, but honestly, good people, not so many. I mean, people who really are good on what they do, even if they're bartenders or they are cooking in a restaurant or they're delivering something. It's not difficult for me. I was so scared when I arrived to this city, so scared coming from Chile. I was thinking coming from South America, in Europe, everything is going to be extremely pro. I'm going to be, you know, uh, like one step uh, late on everything. And it was, was not like this. It was For me, it was really easy to open my own way mm -hmm. because I really wanted to, to, to work. And people perceive when someone wants to, to work, they, they, they give you the job. That's, uh, this, I think, is how it works. It's not difficult, but it's not easy. Okay. You need to, you need to, as, as this city is so dynamic, if there's a lot of people like you thinking the same and it's not enough to send your CV. I mean, people are like daily going to all the restaurants or all the places or all the potential places they can find a job, talking to each person. If, if, hey, you know what, I'm a student, um, I have the afternoon free. So uh, you need to be dynamic too. Otherwise, it will be really difficult. You need to be really proactive. It's not difficult, but it's only for proactive people, I think. Yeah, you have to keep on trying until you find yourself in the right place at the, say, at, at the right time, right? Exactly. To find the, the best opportunity. So um, here it says, how long is the course? I guess that you were mentioning uh, three years, right? years yes it's uh, three years and the second year you do your first internships and this and the third year you do your second internships and before these internships you present your final project to a jury of five uh, big fishes of the city about design i mean important people and that great that presentation this that 15 minutes are 20% of the whole career. So that grade of that presentation is 25% of the whole career. Every single student have passed that exam, but uh, it's, it's the final break. And after the final break, you go to your internships and hopefully after the internships, the company hire you under a contract as a professional. Okay. Okay, good to know. Uh, so the same Barcelona will be at least three years, of course, and then if they want to stay longer, uh, they have been two, for example. Uh, I came for six months and you know what happened? <laughs> <laughs> the longest six months of your whole life. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so here another question, which language is common in Barcelona? I guess we can say, of course, uh, Castilian, uh, commonly known as Spanish and also the Catalan, right? Um, yes. But uh, if you are there any other languages you can use a daily in Barcelona? Okay, I may say that um, Spanish is the main language. Mm -hmm. Catalan is the official Catalonia language, but uh, many people don't speak. I don't speak Catalan, <laughs> but uh, Spanish is the first one. Catalan is the second one. English is the third one, and sometimes a little bit of French, but that's it. Okay. Okay, so if the, um, I mean, the course is in English, but if you would like to have some uh, city life, some international life, it would be advisable to, uh, to know a little bit of, of Spanish, right? Yeah, 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 ex 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 exactly. You, you cannot learn Spanish in one week, but uh, you can learn it little by little. I can see my French students learning Spanish little by little, and at the end, um, Spanish uh, is not so difficult as you think. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Of course, uh, then we have some more questions about the fees of the course. I don't know if, we don't, uh, if this is an information that you have or we can uh, advise our participants to send an email or send a message to Encarna or if you have uh, some... About the fees, the, the prices. Yes. Well, you know, the, the, the prices are changing every year. So 
I don't know exactly the right price, but if I'm not wrong, it's around 9,000 a year. 9,000 a year. Okay, so if you would like to have more uh, precise information and more details also about scholarships, uh, you can send the, an email to Encarna. You see it now on screen and you will find it also on the chat box. Uh, contact at livingbarcelona.com and her WhatsApp uh, number so you can send her a message and maybe arrange a personal interview. Uh, then uh, I guess you can also ask her about uh, scholarship. Uh, sorry, I came late. How will I find the record of this webinar so that I uh, may know more about this? So worry, we fully understand because we have people from so many different countries that are maybe in so many different situations, maybe working, maybe studying, uh, maybe someone eating or sleeping. We will send the registration in the next few days. We will find it on your inbox. We will send it by email. On the same email you use to register for this webinar. Um, on the other hand, we have a question about the challenge that Encarna was mentioning before. I don't know, Guido, if uh, you have information about this challenge or this is also something that we should ask directly to Encarna. Uh, well, honestly, I'm, I was doing a workshop in, front, in the French school the past weeks, so uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, it's not, it's not your field. Okay, okay, that, that's, uh, that's fine, don't worry. So again, uh, Encarna, also for whoever joined later, was mentioning before a challenge. Um, yes, if, I, if, I, if, I'm not, if I'm not wrong, basically you have to develop like a piece of uh, artwork with a specific topic. And that topic, if I'm not wrong, it was about uh, sustainability. And that piece of work could be photography, an illustration, a painting or something. And uh, if, I, if I'm not wrong, the selected ones or the selected one, the winner has a big discount on the scholarship, I think. Just saying, okay. I, I, don't, I don't know, but normally it, it is how it is. More details with Encarna, please. <laughs> don't trust. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for further details, just go to uh, the contact information, Encarna's contact information that you will find right now on the chat box. So we are uh, unfortunately arriving to the end of this event. We are running out of time. So um, Guido, thank you very much for uh, your time here today and for all the knowledge that you gave uh, to us and to all our participants. I'd like to ask you if you had a final message for our participants and maybe uh, future students of Living Barcelona. Uh, yes, well, I hope to see you in Barcelona. Uh, feel free to come here and visit the school. We'll be open until August. So. Um, just don't think it twice. If you are here for tourism or for whatever you are visiting the city, visit us. Hope to see you in the city. And um, I think that's it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, someone said, I think I heard uh, she said 25 discount of the winner for making our tourism work for climate change. That could be, but for further um, precise information, please write to Encarna uh, yes, on the contact information so that we are sure that we that you have the correct information. So uh, thank you very much, Guido. Thank you very much for all the participants. To whoever would like to request the certificate of attendance issued by Doxity, you can send an email to webinar at doxity.com, specifying the uh, webinar you're referring to, first and last name, and the email address you used to register for this event. Uh, my name is Lucia. On behalf of Doc, Doc City, I thank you all for your time today. Uh, and I hope to see you again on the next event that we will organize in partnership with Lead Thank you and have a nice evening. Bye bye.